Hi, I'm Glenda Cedarleaf, and I want to tell you about my latest book. It's a children's picture book, but written for all ages, about Santa Lucia. This book is dedicated to the people of Ukraine and to my Swedish ancestors from Småland. Santa Lucia is a powerful role model for young girls to be a force for good in this world. I was inspired to write this book after initially creating one for my granddaughters last Christmas to tell them about their Swedish heritage and share the legacy of Santa Lucia. And then I decided to create an expanded version for publishing that not only speaks to the beauty of the Lucia Queen celebration, a Swedish custom each December, but also about Lucia's qualities of courage and compassion. In this book, we explore simple and powerful ways to bring light and love to our communities and to the world. And since my professional work focuses on guided imagery and meditation, at the end of the book, I provide a guided meditative journey suitable for beginners as well as experienced meditators to deepen a connection with light and love. This is a great way to introduce meditation to children. I also have an audiobook version so you can listen and read through to enjoy the beautiful color images on each page and several versions of an original painting of Santa Lucia are also in the book. This painting is by Minneapolis artist and my sister, Rebecca Cedarleaf Anderson. This book in all of its formats, including hardcover, would be an inspiring gift for yourself your daughters, granddaughters, nieces, sisters, and friends. With this book, you can celebrate Lucia on Swedish holidays like Midsummer and Advent, as well as all year round. Here are my editorial reviews. From Donna Erickson, host of PBS's family series, Donna's Day, author and nationally syndicated columnist. And from Katherine Klein, Minister of Crystal Coast Unity Church. I close this video with an excerpt from my audiobook. Who are you, Santa Lucia? A timeless journey of inspiration and beauty through the eyes of a brave and kind saint whose legacy empowers us to be a force of good in this world. Just who are you, Santa Lucia? I see you standing there wearing a white dress with a red sash and a crown of candles on your head. You look beautiful and magical. And I wonder, who are you? I, Santa Lucia, have come to remind you that even when it is dark, there is still light and hope. And now that you know about me, you also might choose to celebrate Santa Lucia Day by imagining that you are wearing a white dress with a red sash around your waist and a crown of candles on your head. You might decide to get up early one morning and bring a tray of rolls and cookies to someone special. It's kind of like bringing them breakfast in bed. 
Can you just imagine smelling those rolls and coffee? All throughout the year, there are so many ways that you can bring this love and light to yourself and to the world. I want to share with you one of the songs written about me. It is translated from Swedish into English. This song is often sung as part of the Lucia Queen tradition. Santa Lucia song. Night walks with a heavy step round yard and house. As the sun sets over the earth, shadows are brooding. There in our dark house, walking with lit candles, Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia. Because meditation can help us stay connected with the light and love that is inside us, I offer this practice to you. A guided meditation connecting with love and light. If you would like to experience this meditation, I invite you to close your eyes and imagine that you're in a most beautiful, favorite place. Here in this special place, you can notice all the colors and shapes that surround you. Take some time now to sense into the sounds and smells. Imagine that the sun is shining over your whole body. You can feel its warmth and it is safe and comforting. Breathe in deeply as you feel this warm golden light moving from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Thanks so much for listening. May this book be a source of inspiration and empowerment for anyone who reads it.